Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing well. So, in this video, I will be sharing about what are the roles and responsibility of a specialist programmer at Infosys. So, I have prepared many videos like my journey, my analysis, how to prepare for uh, Infosys specialist programmer, all the uh, uh, previous year question solutions. So all the videos were like how you can prepare or how you can crack the exam. But in this video I will be sharing that what is expected from you when you are a specialist programmer uh, at Infosys. So I will divide this video on four parts and I will uh, discuss on four topics. So first is the training, second is the project, third is the stream and the fourth one is uh, like a uh, mentor which is uh, uh, allotted to you so i will come to all the points so first i will start with the uh, training so we know that infosys is very much uh, popular for its training which happens in mysore dc everyone have to go to mysore for the training and this training time is around uh, five to six months but if you are a specialist programmer or even if you are joining as digital specialist engineer then the time and the, uh, the training time won't be much for you it will be for digital specialist uh, digital specialist engineer it's for three months and for specialist programmer this is for one to one and a half month so as i join infosys as digital specialist engineer so my training was around three months where i was given uh, i got all the training like it covered all the training topics from uh, generic to stream based training but still uh, it was not six months and for the specialist programmer the training period was very short it's one to one and a half months so uh, uh, they want uh, all the specialist programmer or digital specialist programmer to join the project as soon as possible so instead of doing a training a long training it's uh, they expect us to join uh, the project and gather the project specific trainings so here the thing is uh, somewhat different from for the other uh, other roles and even if you are joining not joining as a fresher or join uh, you are going from bridge programmer like you are changing from specialist uh, sorry system engineer to uh, power programmer so in that case also you will be given one short training so that training is the uh, the first step uh, when you have cleared the specialist programmer role so this is the first step so after training I will come to the project like what kind of projects are offered to a specialist programmer. So as compensation is uh, slightly higher so we can expect that uh, the challenges are will, um, will be more. So for the specialist programmer mostly development project or client based project will be offered where the challenges are more where uh, like um, we need to uh, write code or everyday problem solving is uh, important that's why like uh, we need to uh, give our uh, hard test uh, to uh, crack this role so the project uh, in terms of like uh, our career the projects uh, the good projects like a development project a more challenging project will be offered and uh, that it is expected from a specialist programmer that they are uh, they can uh, do good thing or they can give their 100% uh, to this projects so after project i will be coming to the stream path so uh, generally uh, while joining based on what project we get or based on the what uh, uh, room like what stream we are allotted we like um, mainly people focus on that but for specialist programmer they can choose their uh, streams like if someone is uh, going through bridge programmer they need to fill one survey and there they can choose what stream they want and based on the, uh, that the training will be scheduled and even if you are trained in some other technology and you want to switch your technology in infosys there are many internal training internal certification happens and you can do those things uh, and you can create your um, specific uh, uh, stream so even uh, i also 
he was also asked like what kind of project i want and i, I had that uh, liberty to choose my project uh, like based on the, i want to do the project on this topic uh this stream so you have uh, like this m uh, much of freedom uh, and you can choose your uh, stream not that you can always uh, like to suppose you are in a good project and uh, there is uh, and you are doing good and you just want to switch then uh, they will like infosys will help you uh, always but you like uh, you they will always have, give you one option to choose your stream that is uh, a good thing for a specialist uh, programmer now the fourth thing is very much important that um, they will allot one mentor for you it's like a buddy system so this is very much good initiative from infosys that they will uh, give you one mentor who is actually senior specialist programmer maybe one year or two year senior than you and he will always guide you whenever you have any uh, specific doubt like string specific doubt or any uh, other doubt you can always go to him or her and you can ask for guidance uh, he he or she will always be available for you to help you to guide you if you want to switch um, your project or if you want uh, any suggestion you can go to him or her and um, they will help you so this is very much good thing i would say that you will always have one person in infosys uh, who will guide you even uh, in, in time of appraisal your reviewer will be your mentor so uh, you will always get a mentor support so these are the four things uh, i covered uh, like uh, how your trainings and projects and uh, streams and what is the role of a specialist programmer so obviously uh, the role is a little more challenging the project will be a little more challenging and uh, they expect uh, a specialist programmer to do something out of the box so this is uh, about the roles and responsibility and uh, this is the expectation from a specialist programmer so uh, if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt any query you can just let me know in the comment section also we can connect in uh, link linkedin you can find my id of linkedin and we can connect there and also you can join my telegram group where i try to answer all the questions and uh, if you want a daily practice you can join my telegram group where i uh, post everyday question and uh, solution and you can connect uh, you can also mail me and if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you